Hello and welcome to the video how to create a survey workflow. When we are in the process of creating a survey, followings are the components that we use in order to achieve that. In this video, I'm going to focus on the workflow section and how you can create a new one from the beginning. BMC from any force provides you out of the box workflows and email templates that you can use to send the survey link to your clients. As mentioned previously, we will start from scratch in this video so you can have more understanding on how these components work. Before to create the workflow rule, let's check some validations in the self-service site. In the quick find box type sites. Scroll down and click on the self-service label. Scroll down to the site visual force pages and click on edit. Make sure that you have the BMC Service Text survey page enabled. Once it's enabled, click on Save. Now, let's go back to the Sites option and copy the Cell Service Site URL and keep it. Once we validate this, let's start by creating the email template. In Setup, click on the Quick Find box and type Classic Email Templates. Click on the New Template button and select custom. Give it a name to the new email template and click on the available for use checkbox. In the subject, you can type something like incident has been closed. And you can add a reference to the incident ID next to the incident word. In the field tab, click on the incident fields and select number. Copy the reference and paste it here. In the HTML body, you can type something like this. And please notice that there's a reference to the survey page in this link. Here, we need to paste the cell service site URL that you saved previously. Make sure to paste the cell service site URL before the slash apex. Once you have the link, click on next and save it. This is an HTML preview and here is the reference to the survey page. Now we are ready to create the workflow rule and in the quick find box type workflow rules. Click on new rule button, select incident object and click on next. Give it a name for this rule name. Keep this option enabled. In the criteria, let's select if state open is equals to false. I'm gonna keep this workflow rule to be triggered either if it's an incident record or a service request. Click on save and next, and here you can add a time-dependent workflow action. This means you can send a notification email with the survey link in the next hours or days. In this example, I'm going to add an immediate action and select new email alert. Let's type a description. Select the email template that we created previously. In the recipient type, I'm going to select related user and I'm going to make available the client ID. I scroll down and click on save. Once the email alert is created, click on done. Finally, let's activate our workflow rule and make it work. In this demo, I'm going to close this incident record so the workflow rule can be triggered and will send the closure notification email. Once I receive the email, you will notice there's a link to the survey page. So I'm going to click on it and the survey page will be open. Finally, just provide your responses to their questions and click on submit. You will see the survey has been submitted successfully. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.